All right, I'm making this video just to answer a question which I get a lot when I'm going for gigs or concerts here in the US, which is basically, do Indians listen to metal? Hey dude, do you listen to Lamb of God? Hey dude, do you listen to Tool? Oh dude, are there metal bands in India? Oh dude, is there an Indian metal scene? The answer to all of those questions is yes. Now discussing the bigger picture, when does metal music come into a society? And that's obviously, generally speaking, when there is a lot of frustration, there's a lot of anger among a certain group of people in the society who don't like to follow certain practices in the society. And India as a country is no exception. There's a lot of frustration, a lot of anger among people and metal music is still very much a visible art form uh, to express their opinions about all these things that are happening in the society. Discussing another important question relevant to this topic, which is like, is metal music big enough in India? Obviously not. It's still very much an underground scene. But uh, I think metal music, generally speaking, across the world, including countries like US and UK, it's diminishing as compared to your mainstream music, which can be your hip hop, pop, K-pop, whatever you want to call it. But that's a whole separate topic, so I won't bring that up in this particular video. Have international bands toured India before? Absolutely, yes. Uh, it's not been happening for years and years. Like, I think it's been fairly visible uh, in the last 20 odd years or so, where India is obviously becoming uh, a growing market for metal, uh, at least in my opinion. I think it started with Maiden way back in 2007, I think. And then obviously you have your Metallica, Slayer, Lamb of God, all the way till your new bands like Carnival, uh, Monuments, Pliny, all have toured India at least once. Now, if you do want to know more about Indian metal scene, which is obviously still growing, uh, I'm going to talk about a few documentaries and bands, which I think might be interesting for you to check out. And all the details of these documentaries and the bands will be in the description below. So uh, go check them out if you want to. So the two documentaries which I want to emphasize a lot on, which I think ca captures Indian metal very well. First one being Standing By. It's a six part documentary series by Red Bull Music. It captures all of independent music scene uh, of India for the last 50 odd years. But they have, I think it's the sixth episode, which is dedicated to the metal origins and all the way till now and what's happening uh, in the Indian metal music scene. The second one is Global Metal. It's by this guy named Sam Dunn. He captures pretty much everything metal music related and he's, a, he's an extremely good documentary maker. And he basically went out outside of US and UK and then tried to understand the global metal scene, which was basically a sequence to his previous documentary, which was Headbangers, A Metal Journey. And then when he went outside of US and UK, he actually understood that there is a global metal scene and there's a segment of it on India. It's on the origins of India because this was like 15 years back. So do check it out. I'm going to talk about three bands, which you should check it out. If you want to understand more about Indian metal, they're not, they may or may not be my personal favorites, but they have been fairly active in the recent past and they, they have an Indian element to it in some way or the other. So I, I feel it's important to mention them in, in this video. First one I'm going to talk about is bloody wood. Uh, I recently came across them. I haven't discovered them fully, but they're really, really tight. They're probably the biggest metal band in India right now. And they have some percussion elements which are very Indian centric, like a dhol, and they gel it with your regular metal music. And I, th I find them pretty cool. Number two is sitar metal. It's again a new band, at least in my playlist. Uh, haven't discovered them fully yet, but it's like sitar, which is a very classical Indian instrument gelled with metal music. It's an instrumental band. Really cool. So if you want to check them out, please do. And third one is Banak Moth, personal favorite. They're from my hometown, Mumbai. Always been a constant on my playlist. Uh, super groovy, super metal, super fun. So if you want to check them out, please do. And there are a bunch of other bands which are very well recognized nationally, pretty much all over India. They've been fairly inactive in the last few years. Uh, I won't go name them at least for the sake of it right now because there's a long list there are a lot of indian metal bands which have been big influence on my playing on my understanding of metal culture which eventually led me to uh, explore different international bands so i felt it was very important to talk about them because they're the people who keep doing this and i hope this video is just the starting point to talk more and more about indian metal culture so that's it from me for this video if you enjoyed it please like share and subscribe if you did not that's fine 
I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.